This is How to Crochet a Bunny, part 12. We are on row 15, and our first stitch is going to be another decrease. So pick up the front loop of the first stitch, pick up the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through both loops, yarn over, pull through two, put the stitch marker back, and click the clicker for row 15, and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next, and then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So it's going to be a decrease, and then a regular single crochet, and a decrease, and a regular single crochet, all the way around. For this row, you should have 12 stitches, and then row 16 is going to be our last row, and I think you can already guess how that one's going to go. So if you want to move on to part 13 for row 16, it'll be in the comments. And after that, we're going to do the nose, and then we're going to do the ears. And I know the ears are the one everyone's excited about, but I'll try to get them up today. If not, I'll get them up first thing tomorrow. Hopefully. This tutorial has a lot more parts than I thought it would, and I'm kind of glad I split it up because I definitely learned from my Amigurumi Ball tutorial because that one, I think my brain was fried after trying to post all those videos in one sitting. I know it can be a little frustrating if you're not um, making the videos and you're having to wait, and I feel bad about that, but it's hard. But when I'm stuffing the ball, I use my thumb and just kind of poke it in there, and I use a little bit at a time, and it's less every single time, and I'm looking for soft spots, I guess. I don't want the bunny to be super firm. So in the if you watch the Amigurumi ball tutorial, I stuffed it from the inside out and would push it out toward the edge because I wanted my ball to be firm. For this, I want there to be a little bit of softness to it. So I'm just trying to gently feel how much more I can fit in there without overstuffing it and making it even. And I always like to use the same finger, in this case, my right thumb, because I'll start to feel what the proper stiffness is, I guess. And if I were to use different fingers, it would feel different for each finger. But this is honestly where I try to finish as much of the stuffing as I can, because after row 16, there's just going to be a little tiny hole. I can do a little bit more shaping then, but I'm not going to be able to stuff a lot into it evenly. But that's it for part 12, and I'll see you in part 11. No, 13. I can't count. Part 13. I'm gonna go make a coffee now.